this world will never have perfect answers. The, that's the whole teaching of the Gita. Arjuna, this I'm going to translate in a few words the whole teaching of, of Krishna mm. to Arjuna in this regard, though, in this on this yeah. level. Arjuna, you're trying to figure out a perfect solution right here in this battlefield, this battlefield of the outer world. There are no perfect solutions. Be a yogi. Go inside. Address the outer world issues with what you most sincerely and truly and deeply understand is the right thing for you to do. Notice that Arjuna didn't go to the rest of the Pandavas and say, oh, you know what? Here, you should do it this way because I, I realized that I, should, that I should do it this way. He wasn't, he wasn't imposing his own yogic exploration into himself on others it was what was the right thing for him to do so that's what we devotees do we it's think beautiful deeply if you just interview yeah. i love this idea of go you said go deep within to explore what you truly understand what you deeply sincerely truly understand is the right thing to do and yes. then do that that's quite a that's right. Uh, we could say uh, very attractive reading of 1863 where Krishna does Arjuna deliberate That's right. deliberate and do as you desire yes but notice go yeah, but notice, Chaitanya Sharan, notice that it was it took Krishna all the way to the 18th chapter to tell him now you choose because he was extremely well informed for 16 other chapters. He was in a place of knowledge. But he, he was in a place of realization. By he, you are referring to Arjuna? Yes. Arjuna. So, so in other words, yeah. Arjuna received 16 chapters of teachings first. Okay. And then Krishna could say, now you choose. You see, you can't choose if you're ignorant, you will be forced to act according to your conditioning. Mm. You'll be forced to act according to the gunas. But now you can choose. Let's say, uh, you know, uh, I, I'm, I'm drinking alcohol and I'm drunk. How much choice do I have of even how to walk? When we get drunk, with outer world events, so drunk and intoxicated by outer world events to the point where we lose our inner world of devotion. We don't have any choice in the matter. We're acting according to, or by the force of the gunas here. And a sign of that force is by judging others, being forceful, being insistent, and, and, and not engaging any kind of real spiritual knowledge. That's beautiful. You know, I never thought of the Gita in this perspective. So if I may just re-articulate re what you said. Please. So Arjuna, he analyzed how complex the situation is and he, and he got lost in the complexity. So, yes. When that happened, Krishna helped him figure things out by giving him, not, not just specifically addressing the issue, but by giving him resources to go deep within, understand yes. himself, understand yes. what, what really matters in life, what really yes. matters for him. And yes. then, after providing him those resources, he told him, you now you can make a decision yourself. Yes. Two hours, two hours of teaching. From the Lord Himself. Beautiful. I mean, Arjuna even forgot who Krishna was. He fell into a stupor. Yes. So I, I love on, on his chariot. He sat on his chariot, threw his bow down, and and then you know, in the beginning of the second chapter, he began to consider. Oh, you know, I mean, I've been 
you know, Krishna has been a dear friend. He's been my confidant hearing the, the contents of my shattered heart. Maybe he can guide me. And then it's not until the fourth chapter that Krishna says, by the way, you know, you, you do know that, <laughs> by the way, you know, let's, he, he, he didn't start by saying, oh, by the way, I'm the Supreme Lord and you do what I say to do. No, Krishna is not a dictator. He wants to bring out of us what, what our true heart's desires are. Beautiful. So he didn't, he didn't right? You know the Chaitanya Charanji. You know the Gita up and down. Chapter four is where he really starts talking, declaring himself as the divinity. The very di divinity about whom he's yeah. speaking. And the different levels at which divinity works. The Ishwara level, the Paramatman level, uh, the Brahman level, and so on. So Krishna is reminding Arjuna of these higher states of his inner world and innermost world of the heart. Mm. Now you make a decision. Now that you're no longer distracted by the two armies assembled on the battlefield of Kurukshetra, now you make a decision. It's significant, Prabhu, that to make a decision about an issue, in a sense, Krishna took Arjuna away from the issue. Because there That's is right. very little discussion about the ethics of the war directly. That's right. So Krishna That's actually, right. is, 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 so the decision is not just based on the situation, but decision is based more on self-understanding. That's and right. focuses on that. That's right. And, and there's a reason why Krishna didn't dwell on the outer uh, world situation in which they found themselves. It's because the, the, that situation repeats itself over and over and over and over and over and over and over. It never stops, Chaitanya Charanji. This is, we're always left with irresolvable ethical dilemmas in everything we do in the outer world. There are always, you know, uh, you know, disadvantages and advantages. There are always pros and cons. It's never perfect. Krishna says it's either, you know, uh, like fire covered by a little smoke, as beautiful as fire is. There's that little, little bit of, there's a little bit of smoke there, right? Mm -hmm. and, and then, of course, uh, dust on a, on, a, on, on a mirror or, you know, or of course, it can get very dark as, a, as an embryo in a womb. So, I mean, just th that's the way things are in this world. Different levels of light and darkness. And that's always going to be the case. But the, the one thing we can do, apart from the shades of light and darkness, is go inside. Find the purity. Mm. Know ourselves. Work from a place of knowledge. Act from knowledge. And I mean not just knowledge in general, but I mean self-knowledge and divine self-knowledge. 